I'm here with Thoraya Sayes, who's an executive team coach. She's starting her really interesting well work project, which is centered around exploring and understanding the inner roles that people occupy in their relationships. So I'm really excited to hear more about this. Thoraya, can you give me an overview of your background and who you are? Hi, hi Wise, hi everyone. Thank you for having me with you here today. So uh, I'm Thiraya, I'm Lebanese, born and raised in Lebanon, and I currently spend my time between uh, Dubai and London. I come from a strategy background, having worked in strategy for uh, a number of years. And for the last seven years, I built my own business leveraging science-based approaches to help executives and teams improve their relationships and performance through coaching and training. What was your World Work project? My World Work project is a passion project. When I embarked on ORSC a couple of years ago, one of the principles says relationship systems rely on roles for their organization and execution of functions. This principle struck a chord with me particularly the bit about roles. So we're all, most of us are familiar with roles being the outer roles, the functional roles that we play. I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a business owner. So we're all very familiar with titles and job functions. But what particularly caught my attention was the bit around inner roles. And inner roles are really the roles that we occupy or that we play for the emotional functioning of a relationship. And this can be, for example, some of us are uh, devil's advocates. Some of us are peacemakers. Some of us are victims. And these are different roles that we play in different and in various relationships in our lives. So this particular bit really um, caught my attention because it turns out that I've been playing an inner role for all my life without even being aware of it. Hence me deciding on uh, to embark and to dedicate my world work project uh, towards this work. So what I'm hoping to achieve is really, as you mentioned, to explore and understand the different inner roles that people occupy in their relationships. And for that, I'm focusing on two main uh, systems. One is teams. So uh, what are the different inner roles that team members play and occupy within their teams? But also, what are the different roles that people occupy in their, in their family systems? These are the two main systems that I'm going to focus on. And I'm hoping, ideally, if I can really uh, spot some behavioral trends across cultures, that would be brilliant. So say, are there particular standard patterns and common patterns or usual suspects that uh, teams in uh, Norway occupy versus uh, different inner roles that teams in Japan tend to occupy? Or are there particular inner roles that family members occupy in Denmark versus typical or usual suspect inner roles that family members occupy in the United States, for example? So I'm, I'm hoping to be able to spot some trends and conclude with a, some sort of an encyclopedia of inner roles that people can really um, learn about. I'm actually Pretty curious to learn what's uh, going to come out uh, of this project. Why is this project important to the wider world? I mean, this project is the result of how much uh, this principle that I just mentioned has had an impact on me. And I uh, genuinely believe that uh, it's very important and it, it will be very powerful and impactful for the world to learn more about it. So um, ideally, I'm looking to educate my audience around the, um, uh, the concept around roles. And then through educating them, they're going to become hopefully more aware of the different roles that they occupy and that they play. So, so many times we occupy certain roles without being aware of them. And this is, this is what was in my case, for example. So um, education, awareness, choice. This is what I imagine the impact is going to be. And who knows, maybe some ease into relationships because when you're, only when you're aware and do you become a choice and only when you're at choice and you really choose where you wanna go and what, what roles you wanna play in your life. When we're aware of the roles that we're occupying or playing, this brings liberty and freedom because then we we're able to decide, okay, is this serving me? Or is this no longer serving me and something needs to change? What format do you envisage your work 
taking? Is it going to be like a, a research paper or? What I'm planning to do is uh, organize focus groups. So organize a number of focus groups. Through that, I'm going to, I have a framework that I've put so far as a preliminary approach on how to go towards the project. So I have the framework. I'm going to continue fine tuning it uh, as I go along the project. And then the conclusion of it is, uh, is a database or, or an encyclopedia of inner rules that people can lean into, uh, explore, and then see, okay, does this resonate with me? Might I be playing this or that inner role without necessarily being aware? Like a Myers-Briggs of inner roles. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what are you hoping will be the impacts of your project? So more awareness, more choice, and more ease into relationships. Relationships, really, they're, uh, they're cornerstone, they're a pillar of life, right? And so we all occupy different roles. So if I'm able to bring more awareness to the roles that people play, then that would be, uh, that, that's my hope. Mm -hmm. It's a across gift to the, the world. Yeah, across the board, right? So uh, like professionally and personally. Exactly. So I'm starting with family systems and teams, but who knows? I mean, you have all sorts of uh, systems, other systems that uh, people are a part of. So, uh, yeah, I do believe that this work is applicable across the board, regardless which system you're taking into consideration. Has uh, we are steaming through these. <laughs> Has your... Uh, project change course at all? When I first started the project, I wanted to focus on family systems. And then I thought, you know what, why restrict it? And actually, I was told by some of my interviewees, why are you restricting this to family systems? We play all sorts of roles within our teams. And if we can bring consciousness to patterns that us as teams play, and as team members play, then this would help us immensely. So that's where the project uh, kind of uh, changed course or really expanded, I would say. What have you learned so far in this process? I've learned so much about, uh, really, about how relationships work, how are we, how do we show up in the world? I mean, for me, Orsk has been hugely instrumental in my journey, personally and professionally. And uh, the Orsk concepts and methodologies have been like a life manual for me. It's like a it's like it has really opened up my horizons in terms of uh, how we operate as human beings. So yeah, I mean, I've learned a lot in terms of our intentions, our impact, how they might not necessarily be aligned. And I do really believe that through this work on inner roles, uh, hopefully we'll align the impact, the, our intentions and the impact that we're hoping to create. Oftentimes, uh, people occupy inner roles really from a good place right but the impact is not necessarily that uh, that positive so hopefully through um, through the education bit and the awareness then people can become more uh, intentional but also a choice in terms of what's the impact I'm hoping to have and thus what intentions am I setting I mean yeah I'm I'm very interested to see what what the outcome is so please do share share it with us is there Thank anything you. else that I haven't asked you that that you would like to add? Not really, no. I think uh, it's been pretty comprehensive. I believe we covered everything that I had in mind. Thank you very much for sharing your story and we really can't wait to see the outcome and what you discover. Thank you and thanks to the Ors community. I cannot wait either. So stay tuned.